Hello YouTube, it's Silver Age Dave here in the comic room. Today is Monday, and Monday is starting off to be a pretty terrific day. Uh, I have been, uh, as I've shared, this will be short, I've been running a ton. Uh, Thursday I did 48 hard miles, swampy, uh, primitive trail, difficult miles. It was 90 degrees out. Uh, I started running before daylight uh, with a headlamp. I ran all day. I finished up uh, 7 p.m. or so. It took me 12 hours and 15 or 12 hours and 12 minutes, uh, maybe an hour and a half of that. Uh, I was setting up aid stations for myself, refueling, and uh, so my my speed was a lot better than 12 hours 12 minutes says. But uh, I was really happy with that. Uh, I took two days off of running. I did five miles yesterday, nice and easy. Six miles today of uh, what are called hill repeats, just up and down a hill uh, for about four and a half miles, and then uh, a couple miles of, of just flat running on, on roads, which is relatively soft and uh, feeling great. I uh, cleaned the swimming pool, went for a swim, nice leisurely day. I'm, I'm not uh, working today, so um, received a couple things in the mail. Very exciting, uh, one of them. Um, the weekend itself consisted, I, I, you know, had some conversations with good friends. I watched a lot of YouTube videos, which are, uh, you know, part of my friend community. You guys have grown on me over time. There's so many great people out there. Uh, so I watched a few videos and, uh, and had some funny laughs here and there in chats and, and just enjoyed the camaraderie. So friends are important. And, uh, and I saw some real life friends over the weekend. Uh, my friend Jason hooked me up on a, a garage sale haul, which I'm just so excited to go through. I'm going to be doing that here pretty soon uh, myself just to see what's actually in the box. And um, uh, went and hung out with Jason and my friend Dave and uh, my friend Brad who owns Floatsome Store. And I picked up um, nothing terribly, terribly exciting, but um, I got some just out of his dollar bin, and I don't pay a dollar for them. Rick and Morty, Blackest Night. Uh, these are just free comic book day things. This one, Funny Pages, made me think of Area 51 Mike. And, uh, of course, Funny Pages uh, comic book store. And, uh, you know, what a great store that was. They're out of business now, but Dave and Judy, I'm sure, are still out there. So uh, shout out to you, my Canadian friends. And then uh, it, Brad in his box had this DC Nation number zero, which uh, I forget why it was an important issue, but it was in there, so I added that on. And uh, the, the cool thing I had not seen before that he had in his, uh, in his bins that he, he gave me a deal on, basically for all this little group of stuff, seven bucks, uh, he had three of these issues. It's a uh, consumer promotional uh, Consumer in Homemaking Careers by Popeye the Sailor Man. And uh, it goes through all the different uh, consumer and homemaking careers you could get. And he goes through and he's telling the story about how it really takes all of us and, uh, you know, gives examples of the different things that are needed for the, uh, for the world to go around. So uh, pretty cool. And when I saw there were three copies of it, of course, I'm a guy who buys in multiples whenever possible. So, um, so I just negotiated seven bucks for that whole stack. And then uh, I paid three bucks for this, which I don't, uh, I don't really remember seeing using the old tape block, right, everyone? There we go. Um, I don't really remember seeing, but uh, it's a mini comic, Masks of Power. Uh, it's got the uh, figures on the back. This could have come in a box of cereal. Uh, I don't know the history on it, but it's in pretty nice shape. Masters of the Universe, Masks of Power. And it's just a little tiny guy there, but uh, but still cool to have. So thank you, Brad. Um, hanging out with friends, drinking a few beers. Oh, and the, a, a fifth guy was there, Adam, who is just funny as all get out. And uh, Adam was, uh, was over to my house once. Jason and Adam were playing frisbee golf, and I happened to bump into him and and so they came over, sat by the pool, drank some beers, and he cracked me up then, he cracked me up the other night. So thanks, guys. Laughter is the best medicine. So uh, that's the update through now. 
And I want to share something that won't be out of the bag again. Uh, I've never had a Treasury comic graded, but this one in particular I might do. Uh, now, Silver Age Dave doesn't sell many comic books, uh, but I sold a Treasury. And it was very difficult to let it go. It had a little bit of damage on it. I gave the buyer a great, great deal. And as uh, soon as that, that book left my, uh, my um, I don't know, my collection, my hoard, whatever we call this place, uh, as soon as it left, I immediately had uh, this uh, longing, and I went hunting. And I found this, and I, I don't know if I got a good deal or a bad deal, but I'm going to call this a mint condition C56, okay? And I've done videos on this particular issue. Uh, this one is virtually perfect. There is one very tiny non-color breaking tick on it. I don't believe this was ever opened in red uh, and that's going to continue. I'm going to show these corners just for the sake of showing the corners. Uh, there's our upper corner and I'll try to not have any uh, any glare but it's tough. It is a really really terrific cover uh, some of the corners might look like there's a rounding, uh, this one in particular, but it's not. It's uh, part of a shirt collar uh, right there. And uh, so it looks rounded, but it is not. And um, this is the one area right in here somewhere where there's one tick, but I don't even think it's color breaking. I think it's part of the cover, and there's just the tiniest of creases on it. And I am... Um, the, the seller on this particular one worked with me zero. Didn't give me one break, not one dollar off. Uh, and I know there were multiple people looking at it. He said he had received multiple offers and he was just going to see what happened. And being that I sold the other one, uh, I had you know lots of profit on it. Even though I gave a great deal, I had lots of profit on it. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to parlay that into something that is truly spectacular. And uh, I can't be more pleased with the condition on this. It's just as advertised. Uh, it wasn't advertised as mint. I'll try to get that corner. Um, it wasn't advertised as mint, but uh, it is as close as I can ever imagine a comic um, being mint. I mean, I and I've been in plenty of comic book stores. First one in the store on New Comic Book Day, and it's hard to find something uh, quite like it. So it's an exciting day. I'm really pleased to share that with you. Um, I've got lots of other stuff coming, but I just wanted to tell you, uh, you know, friendship's important. I've shared this before. For men, men who have friends live longer. Uh, a man who doesn't have friends uh, has a life expectancy of a man who is a smoker, uh, which is certainly reduced. So if you are, uh, are kind of an introvert, if you don't have real people you hang with, I, um, would strongly advise you, uh, find someone that has a similar, uh, you know, something you like and, and do that hangout every now and then. And, it's going gonna, it's gonna to extend your life, and, and that's important because you're important to me. Whether you uh, like, whether you subscribe, whether you watch the videos and you know comment or not, I don't really care. I do care about each and every one of you out there, and, uh, and I wish you the best. Today I'm celebrating this uh, amazing, amazing uh, piece of comic book history. Originally, this was a Kubert cover. He developed the idea of the uh, uh, Hollywood music and uh, political elite being in the audience. He developed that uh, and, uh, and the idea of the wraparound cover, but he didn't have many people in there. And uh, the cover was then taken away from him. I believe the, the story goes the Ali folks want it to be more spectacular. So uh, I was taken away from him and then Neil Adams uh, was given the task and he is the one who expanded it to all these famous people. It's just an audience full of the who's who of Hollywood and music and entertainment 
and politics and, uh, and just socialite uh, culture. It's everyone important at the time. Uh, practically was on that cover and uh, so that's a great Neil Adams contribution uh, started by Kubert uh, it's an O'Neill and Adams story fabulous if you haven't read it pick up one of the reprints they're not that bad and uh, you will enjoy yourself two iconic members of society uh, Muhammad Ali Cassius Clay and uh, and Superman of course Clark Kent amazing okay guys Girls, if there's girls that watch, I don't know if there are, I'm thinking of you. You are important. Put a smile on your face. Be happy. Get some sunlight on you. God loves you. Silver Age Dave, I'm always thinking of you. Silver Age Dave is out.